The death of a Sioux Falls realtor is a homicide investigation tonight. Melissa Pesky was shot and killed while driving along Interstate 70 between Kansas City and St. Louis. Last night, Melissa's husband, Ryan Pesky, told us that he was a person of interest in his wife's death. He says that he was not with her when she died. Melissa was traveling in this area with her two children, ages 5 and 11, reportedly to South Carolina. Missouri troopers were called to a single vehicle crash last Thursday night. They found Melissa dead in the driver's seat. Investigators are now trying to determine if the shooting was a random act or if the mother of two was targeted. Uh, you know, that's our main focus right now is, is getting to answer, getting an answer to so many of these questions that we have. And so far right now, officers have worked at least 30 leads, and those are added to every single day. Ryan Pesky appeared in court this morning to ask that his children, who were placed in protective custody, be returned to him. We have placed calls to Pesky to get the outcome of that hearing, but they have not been returned. Now, Melissa Pesky is being remembered tonight for more than the mystery surrounding her death. Close friends tell us how she was able to light up a room with her smile and sincere consideration for everyone around her. Uh, Melissa was. She just was like that light in every room. You know, we all have that person um, that has just a positive outlook on everything. And they ask you how you're doing before you even get the chance to ask them how they're doing. I always said she just, she was like sunshine. She was pure sunshine. She just lit up wherever she went. Not only is Melissa Pesky remembered as a caring friend, she also left a big mark on the Children's Miracle Network. Her son and daughter both spent time in the hospital after complications at birth, and Melissa became very close to her fellow miracle moms. Oftentimes you feel alone, and it's hard for other people to understand if they're not going through that journey. And so to have another mom that has kind of walked that same journey is truly amazing and it's comforting. Years after her children no longer needed the care, Melissa continued to help out at events. Just a few weeks ago, she was supporting CMN at a radiothon in the Sanford Children's Hospital. Her kids aren't in the hospital anymore, and so they don't have to keep coming back to the stuff, but they did. They, they always showed up, and um, it was always one of the best parts of our day to see her kiddos and the big smile on her face. Helping others and lighting up rooms are nice ways to be remembered. But Melissa's friends believe her greatest legacy is still alive in two young faces. She was with her kids all the time. Um, as a mom, it makes me want to be a better mom, a better friend. Um, and I think everyone's going to have a little bit of a piece of Melissa with them moving forward. Melissa was just an amazing person, mom, friend, and um, there's a huge void right now. But um, we're just going to keep carrying her with us. Anderson and Woolman say the other Miracle Moms will all be working on a way to support the pesky children. They believe helping care for those kids is one of the best ways they can honor Melissa's memory.